Um, this is awesome. I can't wait to tell you guys about these. These are a vegan hot dog. This morning, we're gonna test out um, a favorite food of of Britain, and I read online that that this food became like national dish. I think it was back in the 20s. I'm gonna have to double check on it, but the Heinz Corporation wanted to make like a national dish, and so they did. They created beans and toast, and still to this day. British people, I guess from all over the UK, because one of these beans is from Ireland, um, but people love to eat beans and toast for breakfast. This doesn't sound like it's strange, right? to me. I mean, no, it, it is it true. It is true. Yes. Like people actually eat this. People for eat this for breakfast. You do? This is, and they squirt like Heinz ketchup all over top of it too. Wow. Yeah. Well, like, we do like to have some ethnic things. We, you know, yeah. we didn't know about Marmite or Vegemite until yeah. like a few years ago. So I've made this once before and the boys weren't really that into it. But I also read that you have to get like the, the right beans. And so I was at the grocery store and I saw that the grocery store had both Heinz and Bachelors. This one's from England. This one's from Ireland. And so we're going to do a taste test with the boys to see which is better the Heinz or the bachelors so you've got which? one I'm not gonna tell you which one's which you've got one on the left and one on the right but they're very red compared to American baked beans or whatever pork and beans very tomato I okay, the one on the left side is much better in my You opinion. like the one on the, the one left? On the right okay. tastes like tomatoes. The left one? We had to play! Mommy! The best because I... We had to play! Oh, you're right! Oh, Jesus, thank you for our food. We have some plus of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm sorry, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like beans like at potlucks either and they taste both the same to me. What do you think Truman? Do you like the ones on, on the right side or the left side? The right side. This one over here? Yeah. Okay. So you said right side, you said left side, right? Bennett, what do you think? Left side. You like these ones better? Okay. And Daddy, what's your thoughts? So far I'm favoring the one on the right. Okay, so we have two for the right and two for the left. Graham. Which beans do you like better? Do you like these beans or these beans? Maybe the small ones. You like these ones better? Uh, Which beans do you like better? These ones or these ones? He just I, likes to smash them oh, and mix them all yeah, together. This one. You like that one, that particular bean? You're just going to tell I, us that they're made from the same factory and they're the exact same beans, so you're going to tell us, aren't you? <laughs> no. This is a serious... This is a serious like um, like bean bean off. We're having an official bean off because you know what? You can't ask the Brits or the Irish because they'll tell you, you know, that they like the one from their country. So this is an honest opinion, blind bean off. I'm gonna try the one on the right here. Right. Mm. Right. Mm. 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 Oh, the one on the right is pretty good so far. I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like um, the beans on the toast because it makes the toast soggy. I don't like soggy bread. I definitely like the right better because there's way more flavor. Way more flavor. I don't know. I actually really like the ones on the right. I could eat that. But you can't do that. I already know you can't do that. Here's the reason why. Because you made it, so you already know that the right ones are from Ireland and you're Irish and so you're gonna choose that whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm not Irish. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. But I do prefer the Irish beans. I'm telling, that's why I'm, it's already in your mind. I do, they have more flavor. The ones on the right are the bachelors. I, I guessed that because of oh. And the ones on the left. Mommy, these are really close beans. 
Is it really gross beans? Yes. It's not. You don't want beans and toast for breakfast every day? No. We found another use for our new wash bucket. Got to wash babies in it. <laughs> Are you having a bath in the bucket? Oh, you're so silly. Hey guys, I went to Aldi today and I just wanted to show you what I got because you guys really seem interested in the things that I get at Aldi. Um, there are some really great deals this week and um, we're really just trying to start eating more and more healthy, lots more fruits, vegetables, um, things like that. So the first thing I got is this really cool little fridge storage container set um, and I got this because it's like three separate containers um, that stack on top of each other and I thought it'd be the perfect container to like at the beginning of the week pre-cut veggies up um, and put them in there just so it's like readily available anytime anybody wants a snack there's you know these three containers of veggies carrots peppers celery you know um, cherry tomatoes just things that are quick and easy to grab so I got that that was like I think it was $3.99 I wanted to say it was $3.99 um, which is really nice it comes in like three different colors I think they have red and green lid ones um, other than that, I got this big box of mostly, it's mostly vegetables. They had um, artichokes, like a three pack of artichokes for $3.49. That's a really, really good deal. That's a little more than a dollar a piece, uh, which is a great price for artichokes. And our family actually loves artichokes and they cook up so, so perfectly in the Instant Pot. And I feel like I haven't done that for months now so we're gonna have artichokes one night this week um, then we've got uh, cherry tomatoes which are always a really yummy snack uh, I've got some red onion I also got some uh, some avocados all right so I got two packages of the artichokes because we need that much to feed everybody they really really like artichokes and they could probably eat almost a whole one themselves um, then I've got this nice little tangy citrus kale mix. These are really good, these salads. They're just raw kale. Usually there's broccoli and uh, this looks like it has like some red cabbage and some uh, carrots and things shredded up in there. And then it has seeds and a nice little like citrusy vinaigrette. Uh, so we'll give that a try. Garlic, always good to have on hand. And of course, at all the really good prices, I've got, they had this week some um, different cheddar cheese selections. And Trent and I really love to have like cheese trays for our date night at home. That's our thing. Uh, picked up some romaine hearts. Those are always good to have on hand. Sometimes we like to have um, tuna or chicken salad. Um, in these we call them like tuna boats or chicken boats and we just uh, or maybe sometimes like lettuce wraps we'll do with these they work they work really well for that I also got some uh, little mini sweet peppers our little guys love these they'll eat them whole or sometimes I will chop them up like in little rings and put them in salads or on top of things like that um, got a bunch of cilantro for guacamole. Um, they have some baby wipes and we were getting low on our, we usually get Target brand, but I figured that um, since I was already going into Aldi, we would give these a try. I probably will just go back to the Target brand because I really like them, but eh, we'll give them, we'll give them a go. Then I found this, they have green sriracha. That's pretty cool. We love to try hot sauces and we do like um, the red sriracha. So I thought we'd give the green sriracha a try. Um, this is awesome. I can't wait to tell you guys about these. These are a vegan hot dog. I have tried vegan hot dogs before 
and they were pretty darn disgusting. They just didn't have the right kind of texture or flavor. They just weren't good. Um, and I figure I'd rather just not have a hot dog than have a yucky vegan hot dog. But these, actually, I don't know that anybody would be able to tell that this is not a beef hot dog because it has the perfect texture of a hot dog. Um, and it, it still doesn't have quite the kind of smoky flavor of a hot dog but it has good flavor and most of the flavor you get from your hot dog is from whatever you put on the top of it. But we had these the other night, we just threw them on the grill over the fire, on our fire pit, and they were actually really, really good. Um, the only, the only like allergens that it says is, is soy. Uh, it does have carrageenan in it, which I try to avoid because I find that it upsets my stomach. Um, but I don't remember feeling like my stomach was upset after I had these the other night. Um, they've also got evaporated cane sugar and pea protein, tapioca starch, uh, soybean oil, potassium chloride, baker's yeast extract, dried garlic, all these like uh, fermented rice flour, guar gum, xanthan gum, natural smoke flavor. It doesn't have anything real like um, off, I guess. Um, but this is basically like a soy protein meat substitute in a hot dog form and we really liked them so I got like three packages of those to stock up in the fridge because they're good until, uh, where did I see that? Somewhere on here, oh, they're good until the middle of June so I've got a few of those because I know with Aldi this is the thing with Aldi, you find something you really, really like and you realize that it's only a special buy. It's not coming back unless for some reason, which I highly doubt it, if for some reason people really go bananas over the meatless hot dogs, they won't be back or they won't be back for a long time. But if you are a vegan and you'd like to have hot dogs that are actually pretty good, Go pick them up at Aldi and then they'll carry them more often. Um, another cheese that I got, I told you I got a couple. So the other one was like a whiskey cheddar and this one is just a plain aged Irish cheddar. And finally, some limes. Oh look, somebody still didn't take a nap. I figured if we take a nap at this point today. We take at least at you're smiling. He was not smiling a minute ago. Well, I figured if we take it's already it's taken me a half hour to try and get to bed, which is unusual. Yeah. And so I figured if I haven't gotten him to bed at this point, I'd rather him go to bed early yeah, than be up too maybe late. Maybe he tonight. just needs to go play really hard at the One, playground. One, two, three, hot dogs! Oh, look at all those hot dogs I got. He loves haka dogs. You love haka dogs? You don't say that anymore, do you? What are those called? Are those hot dogs? What are these? What are these? Hot dog dog. <laughs> He's trying to say it now. He can't, he can't even say it cute oh, like he used to. You used to say he it used to dog. call them hot dogs. They were so cute, but now he says hot dogs. So that's okay. He's getting big. Mommy has to be okay that he's getting big. <gasps> oh no. Careful, don't fall down there. So yeah, so that's what I got at Aldi today. Just in case you're wondering and if you are vegan and have been craving a hot dog, I don't know why a vegan would crave a hot dog. <laughs> I mean, I guess they do. People who were previously not vegans. Um, but if you're craving a hot dog, check those out because I really enjoyed them. I thought they were great. And uh, yeah, go get some artichokes too. That's a really good price on artichokes. They're just a little more than a dollar a piece. So. Go have fun at the park!